Hello everyone, welcome to two-factor authentication course. I hope you guys have seen my previous video about the introduction of two-factor authentication. If you guys are not watched, please watch that introduction video. That introduction video link is given in the description. In this video, I am going to teach you database schema design for the two-factor authentication. What are the required fields are important to develop the two-factor authentication system. The required fields such as is 2FA enabled, 2FA code, 2FA expire time and 2FA default type. So whenever we can make or we can develop a two-factor authentication system, we need to do have these required columns in the database table. In this demo, I am going to show you the database schema design. The table name is users and then the required column is is 2FA enabled. It is like a boolean variable like is 2FA is enabled or not for that user and then the 2FA code. So once we send the random code to the end user such as by using mail or SMS, the 2FA code has been stored in this column. And then the 2FA expire time. The 2FA expire time column is used to when the 2FA code will be expired. So in this column, I'm going to show you the uh, epoch time value. I mean, I'm going to store the epoch time value in the 2FA expire time column. And then the 2FA default type. By default, user preference such as uh, by default the user wants to send the 2FA code for by mail or by SMS so we can show the default type it's like a preference of the 2FA user preference so we have four columns in the database table users and then this is the ER diagram so look at here already I have a table called users with the columns such as ID, first name, last name, email ID, password, mobile, country and user type. So along with these attributes, I added four more, I mean four columns such as is 2FA enabled, 2FA code, 2FA expire time and 2FA default type. And then this is the SQL script I am going to use to create these columns. Is 2FA enabled? is 2FA code and is 2FA expire time and is 2FA I mean the 2FA default type so these four columns I am going to create it now in the database already I have a database user service and then the table is users I am going to add these columns in my database okay this is my MySQL workbench already I have a table called users this users table have the attributes id first name last name email id password mobile country along with that i am going to create these four columns okay so look at here the table columns are created now i am executing again the description query oops such as so look at here is 2FA enabled is 2FA code maybe 2FA code 2FA default type 2FA expire time and then is 2FA enabled these four columns are created now okay so these are the required fields to develop the two-factor authentication system in the database these fields are required okay so if you guys are want to keep the 2FA in a separate table, create a table called 2FA and then map the user ID as a foreign key of in the 2FA table. So for this demo purpose, I created these four columns in the users table itself. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. I will explain you how to add the 2FA attributes in the JWT token while getting an access token from the authorization server. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you.